Hey guys, how's it going? Gens here, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about sky replacement. Not that kind of sky replacement, although it's pretty easy to do, but I'll show you how to do that in a different video. Today we're going to talk about sky replacement with photos, and you can do that literally in one click. Without further ado, let's get started. <laughs> Before, if you want to replace the sky, you have to learn a lot about Photoshop. You're going to spend hours and hours and hours of education and headache and you learn about different tools in order to replace the sky. Nowadays, in 2020, you can literally do that in one click. It's not one click. Anyway, you can replace your sky in less than one minute and anyone can do that. So let's get started. So there's two ways of doing this. Number one, you can do it via Photoshop and then number two, you can use a software called Luminar 4 and you can do it pretty easily. So first, let's go to Photoshop. I'm just gonna choose a photo on my Lightroom selection. Let's see where we can go from here. All right, so right now I choose this photo. I think it looks pretty nice. However, it's very, it's a bit underexposed. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna just raise up the exposure, raise up the shadow, maybe add some contrast, tiny bit of vibrant. Ah, um, look good enough. Now I'm going to switch it to Photoshop. Here we go. All right, so we have Photoshop. All you gotta do is click edit and then you can go into sky replacement. Uh, once you're in this window, uh, you can have the sky that is in the stock footage from Adobe Photoshop itself. And there's some good ones over here that you can use. Uh, some of them looks pretty good. Um, but let's say if I want to add a different ones from my computer, I just click the plus button right here. I choose the sky that I like. For this one, let's choose a random one. Let's say 17. Let's pull a random sky right here. Um, it looks very saturated in my opinion, but we can fix that later, no problem. What we're gonna do is uh, there's a lighting adjustment where you can change the lighting to fit the scene and then you have color adjustment where you can change the color to fit the scene. Uh, lighting mode, you can get screen or multiply. In this one, I think multiply look a lot better. You can make it a little bit more warmer and yeah, I think it looks uh, it looks great so far. And then you click OK. The great thing about Photoshop is that once you did the sky replacement, there's all the layers from Photoshop, all the action that they do to replace the sky is still on Photoshop. So you can go into X session and edit yourself. That way, all the hard stuff is done in the computer, so you don't have to know exactly what it is, but you can go into each different layer and you can edit them out. For example, if I go into this, I could see there's some mass right here. If I wanna just um, reduce the saturation here, I definitely could go into the way and saturation. And what I can do is I click on the clip thing right here. What it does is that it only affect the layer below. Uh, which is the sky pretty much. And what you can do is just desaturate it a little bit. You can make it lighter, um, things like that. So yeah, I think it looked good. I mean, obviously I just choose a random sky, so it is not the perfect sky for this. Uh, but for you to see that, um, this is pretty easy and you can done in like one click pretty much. And this is the before, this is the after. I like it, it looks dope. All right. Now let's look to another software that I also very enjoy working with, which is Lumina 4. So now let's get back to Lightroom into this photo, which is a basic adjustment from Lightroom. Now what I can do is I'm going to use photo, edit. I'm going to Lumina 4 and click edit. By the way, you can also edit your photo to Lumina 4 from Photoshop. So you can go from Photoshop straight to Lumina 4 but because I keep most of my photo on Lightroom, I started from Lightroom and then I just edited it to Luminar 4. All right, so we are at Luminar 4. We just click on Creative Bar and then we use Sky Replacement, uh, Sky Selection. There's a lot of stock footage for this. 
and it's pretty easy to do. You just basically click the button and then you change the sky. Very simple. Now I want to add a sky from my own. Since the last photo we already choose a sky, I want to use the same sky so that we can compare between two photos using Lightroom and using Illumina 4. So let's just use the same sky. Let's just open that up. Voila, here we go. Um, so we use Sky Global, you raise all the way up for Sky Global. Basically what it does is it uses AI technology to change the color and then change the uh, lighting to match the sky to the scene. And then we click on advanced setting, you can uh, defocus the sky because it's a little bit uh, far away. So let's just make it less uh, focus. Uh, I want to warm a little bit the temperature for the sky. Uh, exposure a tiny bit up. So once you're done, you just click apply. All right, so now you got the before and then the after. All right, let's just compare these two real quick. So the one with Photoshop and then the other one with Lumina 4. In conclusions, I think both softwares did really, really well. However, I want to give them a little bit more points for Photoshop. It is because it keeps all the layer in Photoshop. So then you can go into each layers and you can edit the way you like. You can change the color of the sky itself. You can add exposure, you can add saturation, you can do anything for just the sky while you're in Photoshop. Now while you're in Lumina 4, although you can use AI technology to match the color, match the scene, however, once you apply it to Lightroom or go apply it back to Photoshop, it become the one photo, which means any edit from then is gonna change the entire photo, not just the sky, so give you a less option to edit. However, I heard that Lumina is coming out with a new software when you can not only just replace the sky, but you also add the reflection in the water, in the building, with just one click using AI technology. Now look at this picture, even though it looks great with the sky using Lumina 4 and Photoshop, however the building doesn't show any reflection from the sky, which might not make it very realistic. The new software in Lumina, if you can just click one button, and you can just add all the reflection for the water from the building, that is crazy. That's pretty much it guys. That's my thought in this two software and technology nowadays is just amazing. It's the best time for you to take amazing photos. You can literally just go into the software and click one button and you can just have the whole sky replaced for you. You can edit all this stuff using AI technology. So that's pretty much it for today guys. That's it for me. I hope you like it. If you like it, make sure to click like and subscribe. I saw a lot of you guys watch the videos but didn't like or subscribe please do that because it helped me a lot and helped with youtube algorithm hit the bell notification so you know when i post a new video and talk to you soon bye